Welcome back everyone, this is Henry with Guns, Games, and Gadgets channel. In today's video, it's going to be a rant, you know, um, I'm very pissed off right now. Um, so if you have any kids, um, I will escort them out the room now because there's going to be some cussing going on. I'm sorry if you're a Christian as well, I'm sorry that I'm not perfect. Anyway, um, alright, so basically um, what I'm going to rant about is this place, Vance Outdoors. Yes, the vans, the the same vans that charged the arm and leg for ammunition throughout the ammo epidemic, you know. And I got proof right here, you know. And um, this this was just uh, back in January, right here. They was charging the arm and leg for ammo. I went live, and the manager that actually interviewed me was the one who said I couldn't film because of the price gouging, <laughs> obviously. So there's that. So if you want to check this video out, uh, I will have it in the description. Um, yeah, okay. All right. So basically, I was looking for, you know, a job because everything's starting to go up in price and whatnot. And I have firearm knowledge. And, you know, like I've, I've been in, involved in the firearms, you know, movement, I guess, for years. You know, guns, games, and gadgets, right? And I know a lot about firearms, you know. Apparently, I don't know enough to them, but not going to get into that yet. So anyway, I found out, you know, I found an application, and um, they claimed that they never gotten one, which I know they did. So I had to go up there. Uh, no, I, I called them. They scheduled me to come in for an interview, you know, with, with one of the managers. When I went up there, the same guy that told me I couldn't film was the manager, which I didn't know. And he's a black guy. So I was like, okay. Well, it shouldn't be no issues now, you know, that someone that looks like me, you know, it shouldn't be a, a problem. So, you know, the interview and all, like, it went well, it went good, you know. Um, I told them about my, my channel. There's a few of them that works up there that knows about my channel that's subscribed as well. And, yeah, it all went well, and he said he'll call me back, and he never called me back. It took, uh, I had to contact them a couple weeks later because, I went for the interview in the first, so a couple weeks later, I contact them, and then they told me that he's unavailable and all that, and then I say, okay, then they offered a, a, a position about, um, what was it, um, photos or something, since I got to do a YouTube channel or whatnot, and I said, no, I'm, I'm, I'm into sales, you know, because I'm experienced with firearms, and I know the ins, about, uh, ins and outs, obviously, I don't, I don't know every single thing. But I know how to sell a gun. <laughs> so anyway, um, coming uh, come today, uh, I just emailed them, and uh, the manager called back. I'm not going to give out the exact location, you know, because there's four locations of, you know, from um where they at. I'm not going to give out the exact ones. I really, well, I mean, I might honestly. But um, yeah, he called me back. You know, he said that. I'm sorry, we can't take you uh, at the moment because uh, you're not uh, knowledgeable enough. Basically, I don't have enough gun knowledge, and they're looking for people who has a lot of gun knowledge for they can get, uh, you know, the sales. I'm like, you don't have to know a lot about firearms to sell a firearm. You got to know the ins and outs, you know, of them, but you don't have to know every single model. You know, the model, the name is on the gun. See, Glock, Austria, Glock 19, 9, 9 by 19, 9 millimeter, Luger. Come on. But, yeah, that right there pissed me off. I kind of already knew that this was coming because it took them three weeks to contact me to say that. If you wanted to say that, you should have contacted me way before that. So I kind of already knew what was coming. It's, it's not because I'm black, guys. Like, if for the people who've been on, on this channel, obviously know what's going on here. I wasn't born yesterday, and you don't have the right to insult my intelligence. I know about firearms, and, you know, I just wanted to, you know, get some more experience, you know, since I ain't have enough, and apply at this, you know, at this place, since it's the closest to where I live, but I, apparently, I guess, you know, but I, you know, obvious reasons, guys, you know, because my hands, it has to be, it has to be, they are discriminating me, they are discriminating against me. Because how I was born. That's just, you know, there's no ends, ifs, buts about it. That's why they, 
they ain't hiring me. They know I know about guns. I know they watch my channel. So I'm a you know I have an audience. I have a platform. And if I if I want to call someone out, I'm gonna call them out here. They are discriminate against me because of how I was born. My hands. And they don't want no cripple working for them. That's it. That's it. So for the people who want to praise Vances and all that, one, they don't care about your right. Because they, uh, they're they like one of the only people who is price gouging through all this. Yes, the prices are slowly starting to go down. And also, you know, before I get into that, every single gun, you know, well, one, since I don't have any knowledge about a gun, got 19 Gen 3, 15 plus 1. From Austria, it's a good. It's good for home defense. It's good for concealed, uh, open carry and concealed carry. Smith and Wesson MVP shield, nine millimeter. It's good for um, concealed carry. Uh, it holds seven plus one or eight plus one, um, and it's a little snappy to be honest. But like I said, I should not have to sit here and explain my intelligence. But this gun is tricky right here. Can it? TP9SF, 9 mil, 18 plus 1, uh, it's made from Turkey. That's good for home defense, which that's that's what that gun is. Let's do a couple more. Since I don't know about guns, let's do this bad boy. It's clear. Uh, Mavic 88, 12 gauge. Uh, I think this holds 6 plus 1 of buck. High brass. I honestly don't know too much about shotguns, but I know enough how to sell one. Now, obviously, the shotgun is good for home defense, um, and it's a good truck gun. Let me make sure this thing don't fall. And I also have an AR-15, which I don't feel like picking that up because I shouldn't have to explain myself, you know. But anyway, um, yeah, I every single one of my guns. That's not all the guns I got. Obviously, I got more guns than that. Every single one of my guns. That shows you I got from them. Them. So they know who I am. And, um, yeah. Am I going to stop doing business with them? I probably will. My cousin, uh, well, I yeah, same for my relatives. I, I, I've gotten so many people into buying, uh, into buying, buying guns. People who, you know, I, I didn't think was going to ever buy a gun. You know, people waking up, me talking to them about only you can protect you. And ain't, ain't no police going to protect you. You know, me just explaining reality to them. And they starting to, you know, see, you know, wake up. And, you know, they, I took them out to the range a few times. Like, it's, it's on my channel. I know my stuff. <laughs> I, I know my stuff. And, yeah, my cousin may watch this. And right now she has a gun in layaway there. And that's, honestly, that's one of the only, only reasons why I do business there. Because they have layaway, which is good because now all gun stores have a layaway but you know she's gonna feel probably feel like crap buying it from them because you know what they did here you know they discriminating against me just because how i was born and it's not fair it's not right it's not right but you know there's other places you know that i can go look for a job it's not that hard honestly but if i feel something you know is going on i'm gonna call you out so vance outdoors it's four locations, so I might, it just depends on my mood, I might put the, the location that I went to uh, in the description if, you know, if I'm so pissed. Or you guys can give them a call and tell them that it's not right. They are discriminating against me just because of my hands. I can operate a gun perfectly fine. I've been, you, like, guys, it's, it's on my YouTube channel. I know my stuff. But, yeah, just wanted to talk about this, and, yeah. Like, for the people who say, like, get out and get a job, get out and get a job. I mean, you can get out and get a job, but that doesn't mean that you're not going to get discriminated, you know, because I'm black and I have a disability, so that's two things. Them, I know back in the day, they didn't have many black workers back then because, you know, my dad, he used to talk to me about, you know, bands as well, but, you know, I was like, why not? Let's just try this out and see if I get the job or not. Obviously, I know enough about guns, but... Apparently, you know, you got to be a police officer or be in the military or, a, a, you know, you know what I'm talking about. You got to be, one, all cops don't know a lot about guns. They just carry a gun, the duty gun. That's it. Wow. Like, it's it's just BS, guys. I already know, 
you know, why they said they wasn't going to pick me up. It's because of my hands. Discrimination, and it, it's illegal. So <clears throat> anyone, you know, that's, you know, a part of the, you know, attorney, you know, the law, you know, that knows your stuff, hit me up. My email is in the about section. You know, if you want to chat to me and whatnot, because if you look through my channel, you see I know what I'm talking about. So it's, I know you, some of you guys are going to say it's not a big deal. I mean, it is a big deal to someone like me that that's born that was born with a disability, and it is harder for people with disabilities to get out and work. You know, because they claim, they think, they just assume that you can't do what it, what everyone else can do. I I was really in that gun store. Like I go in there all the time. I know just as much about guns, you know, than any other of the dealers do. Literally, and I proved that when I was with my cousin trying to get a gun. Every single thing that he was explaining to her, I already knew because I was explaining to her as well. So, it's just bullshit, guys. That's all it is. Discrimination, bullshit, and welcome to America. This is America still. You know, and people uh, think of why this country is so fucking divided. This is why. Well, this is the reason why. Discrimination. Not because I'm black this time. It's because my hands. That's it. That's why. My hands. Not my skin. Well, it could be some of that, but... The manager was black, so I'm 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 gonna give them the benefit of the doubt. He was black, so I'm pretty sure that they're not racist, but you know, they ain't trying to have no cripple in a gun store. That's that's all it comes down to, guys. That's just how it is. Well it's not how it is, because you know, it's something that's called, you know, you know, it's against the law and you know, that's why people have lawsuits and whatnot, but I'm not gonna get into that too much. But yeah, if if there's any attorneys that wanna contact me, please contact me because it's not fair that you just boot me claiming that I don't uh, have enough a gun knowledge. They're looking for people who has more gun knowledge than me. I'm like, how can you insult my fucking intelligence? I've been in this in this thing for, oh, for five years. I'm not no newbie. I'm not no first-time gun owner. I've welcomed, I've, I've taught several first-time gun owners how to shoot a gun and what gun to get. But it is what it is, guys. And, yeah, this is America for now. Well, it's always been like this, but I'm going to stop with my ranting before I get very really pissed off because I don't feel like getting pissed off. I've, I, I know it's not worth it, but, you know, every everything's starting to go up. Gas is starting to go up. Uh, uh, bills, you know, I think you guys don't know what I'm talking about. If, you know, if, if you're not rich or middle class, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah. You know, um, I'm gonna call it uh, quits here, guys. So, um, yeah, um, I if I'm not pissed off, well, if I'm so pissed off, I will be putting the, the links, the numbers, and the information, or you guys can probably just look it up. Since you know, you know what, if y'all want the numbers, let me go here before I walk off here. Where's the numbers at? It's right here, guys. This is the locations. Columbus, Hebron. They got five locations? No, four. Boom. And one of these are the locations that I went to. That I got shoot off like a fly. It's because of how, was, you know, my hands. So I already know what's going on. And, yeah. So I know there's going to be people in the comments saying, um, saying some bullshit, basically. You don't know nothing about me. Go to random people that's gonna be in the comments. You're not born with a disability. You're not you like you don't know anything. So that's why. Not because I'm black, it's because I got a disability. And that's why. And these are the Christians. These are so called Christians and we accept it. Well, oh wait, I forgot they don't accept accept everyone. They don't like that gay stuff and lesbian stuff and you, you know, but apparently people who's born this way can't help how I was born. I'm sorry I was born like this. But it is what it is. So I'm gonna end this here before I get very pissed off. And yeah guys, if you want to contact them, you go here. So yeah, um guys stay safe. Be aware of your surroundings. Carry guns, I know I am. Um yeah and as always